YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here. Excited to be bringing you my first recording ever on Total War Warhammer where I'm using my new graphics card. It is a NVIDIA GTX 1080. Thing is an absolute monster. I'll have a separate video out about it. Go check it out. Um, runs this game incredibly well. Uh, I mean, when I had left, first booted the game, I was running it on high settings because that's what I was running it on with my 970. And on the high settings, I was getting like 130 frames a second in battle. Obviously, I jumped it up to Ultra, which was my goal with getting this card. And I'm easily running 60 FPS in all but the largest, most demanding battles. And even then, it barely drops below 60 FPS. Runs very nice. If you if you wanted to run this game in 4K, I'm guessing that this would be the graphics card to do it with. Um, I don't think you're going to do it on Ultra. Not, not getting 60 frames a second, of course. But... Um, it would definitely be the way to go if you wanted to run in 4K. Of course, I'm just interested in running in 1080p, so I am good. In any case, uh, we're going to get things uh, get things back to business here. I was just checking out a couple of things real quick. Yeah, everything's running real smooth. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm real excited to bring this to you. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. We've got... Uh, Got a lot to get done. We beat back these scaling armies. The last episode was pretty intense. We we had a lot of things going on. I'm trying to fix public order in some of these provinces, but I'm not succeeding. Uh, we're gonna we've got a lot of room to go here, basically, and that's one of the provinces. This one actually, I think, at Wurtbad is actually turning positive public order now, which is impressive considering the vampires are next door. And we need to resettle Isleheart, but I don't have an army to do so at the moment. So I'm kind of kind of stuck. And I'm actually thinking about taking this small army because a little bit of public order loss over here can be can be counteracted, I think. I don't know. That's kind of risky too. Well, there's no risk, no reward, and there's Marienburg over here, which would be nice to control as well. And I'm worried, I'm going to need Gelt to chase down these armies, so I'm kind of thinking about taking this army and force marching them all the way over to Isleheart. I think I'm going to do that, because they're going to be the first ones to be able to get there. It's going to leave public order pretty jacked up over here, but we'll do something about it just as quick as we can. Um, we have a damaged building up in Nordland, and that's expected. There's an enemy agent up here jacking with me, I think. I don't have a lot of money right now either, especially not with the loss of Isleheart, thanks to the stupid minions of Chaos sweeping in and doing all the work for Chaos for them. Good, good. Midland just chased off a bunch of those guys. And people were telling me a few things I didn't know. Number one, which was if you confederate, you can't confederate again for a certain number of turns. And also it gives you a penalty um, for having confederated with the rest of the human factions for a certain while. And all that kind of makes sense. It means that you can't just confederate up 50 times. Why would I be at war with Wissenland? <laughs> with all this stuff going on, you want me to be at war with Wissenland. How many provinces does Wissenland have? Or... Uh, Wissenberg. I mean, I see three settlements there. So I mean, even if they're a three settlement faction, like I've got, I've got issues of my own, people. I don't need to be having some idiot war with with Wissenland right now. I wanted to chase down those waste my potential. those scaling stacks, but I have no idea how far north they've fled at this point. It is time. I can't catch any of them. That's for sure. So there's no sense in, in going any further from Altdorf. Let's just get him retrained. Um, public order is actually tolerable here right now. I'm going to keep Karl Franz close to um, Gelt because Gelt is the one with the army. We need to diversify this army. It's just really not the best army. Let's see. Let's take a few of these units, disband them and replace them with something more viable. We can get all kinds of awesome units now. Um, where would these guys come from? Demigriff Knights? Oh, I can get them here. Yeah, it's just that the upkeep on the Demigriff Knights is insane, but I mean, these are very, very good units. Far superior to the Empire Knights. I'm just not sure if I can afford their upkeep. 
Outriders would be probably a superior pick. They have a lot better range than Pistoliers as well. Let's just start kicking some of these units. And Outriders don't cost a whole heck of a lot more. Timmy Griffin Knights with Halberds. You better believe that's where we're, we're getting to. I can't get great swords or anything right now either. There are mortars as well, which that can be handy at breaking up large numbers of infantry coming at you. Kind of thinking, I was hoping we could recruit halberds, which is why I disbanded some of my guys there, but apparently, apparently not. Armor piercing missiles on the handgunners. And the handgunners... The handgunners would be coming from another province, it looks like. Well, crap, I just disbanded a bunch of stuff and don't really have anything good to replace it with. That's kind of annoying. I thought I could get halberds, but I didn't didn't really check. <laughs> so, piece of dookie. Well, what we'll do then is we'll just uh, merge these units so that maybe I can just uh, train. Spearmen are fairly cheap, honestly. Um... Crap, I can't even get any infantry in this province because they wrecked my stupid... They wrecked my barracks in Isleheart. Charge defense against large foes, which probably wouldn't hurt, and they're shielded. Let's uh, go ahead and get a few of those guys. Um, it's going to be very costly because I can't recruit locally, but let's, let's go ahead and do it. Now... And then on the next turn, we should be able to move up and uh, take back Isleheart, and we're, we'll immediately start rebuilding a barracks. Yeah, that was where I had my barracks. We've definitely got some work to do with the Empire here. It is good to see our allies of the mountain. Join the war against the Greenskins. I mean, that's a lot of money, and I like money, but I just don't need a war with the Greenskins right now. I've got enough on my hands with Chaos. So appreciate the offer, my dwarfen friends, but it does not make any sense for me at the moment. There's a lot of provinces I could go settle, but I also cannot overstretch myself in the face of all this chaos. Um, it's going to take a lot of money to build up these provinces, and we just have to be very careful. I'm just going to hit take it back on that one. I don't need any diplomatic problems right now. Where's Sextus at, by the way? He's over here providing extra public order to work bad. So he's playing kind of an integral role there. Um, let's take this army, and we should be able to put them into a normal stance, and hopefully we have enough men. Yeah, we can colonize Isleheart. It's going to take me a couple turns to retrain these guys, but we can go ahead and start rebuilding Isleheart here, and uh, we're going to need to... Make sure it's defensible this time as well. You summon me. One more turn and we'll have the spears that we're training for Gelt. We kind of need to get an army together for Karl Franz as well. The nation calls. Who calls? It's like Sextus is leveled up. I'm going to actually start leveling him up. And, and again, this was a good suggestion from people in the uh, comments. They're like, hey, if you want your agents to be better agents, you know, go down this blue line. They're right. So I'll focus some of my agents leveling up down there so that they're actually better agents. And we will uh, kind of focus on that and then make them better on the battlefield yes, my lord. later on. So this is Patchy, Patchy Saltbringer. We can get him the uh, Barded Warhorse at this point. Let's do that. And we're waiting on our troops to retrain. We can do more research. Armory, weapon strength for empire units with great swords, halberds, and lances. That's not going to hurt uh, getting that done because that'll help quite a few different units. This would give armor to pistoliers and outriders. That's not a bad idea either. And then the state issued weaponry. So this gives extra armor. We already got state-issued weapons. This would help for all units excluding greatswords. That's not a bad thing either. I'm going to go ahead and research that. Not that I don't want to improve greatswords, but I don't have any right now. And we can reissue an edict here in the Reichland. And we're going to want... Um, I've got five surplus. So I'm not really worried about... 
characters present, change per turn, buildings, population surplus. Okay, it's already at its max, so we probably don't need to worry about growth. Let's put it on the improved tax rate. Yeah. Put it on the improved tax rate, that'll help out. Okay, I've got Appius Beastmaster. What did I get that for? I'll check it out at the turn end. I got Appius still heading out on the quest, and we'll need to check that out. <laughs> Lost a follower for... Move any character, quest successful. So the Cloak of Molten Metal, we completed this. Um, it says, as Gelt suspected, the dwarves flatly refused to share their knowledge. His emissary does mention that as he prepared to leave the hold, a gyrocopter pilot arrived with news of a greenskin warband that had attacked a dwarf in trade caravan and stolen the precious Grim uh, Gromril ore it was carrying. Even a planner, or ever a planner, Gelt sends a pathfinder to, gully, uh, to the gully to assess the threat. So now we need to win the actual battle, and we can't because we are uh, we're garrison. And we're picking up troops, so but we can actually go try and fight the um, the quest for the, the cloak of molten metal. And I'm sitting here trying to think. So we have swords, we have spears, we have crossbows. Um, probably wouldn't hurt. Let's just grab a couple of mortars and a couple of outriders, and then that that army. It's not going to be spectacular, but it's fairly well diverse. And it'll be ready on the next turn to go complete the quest battle. Ah, dang it. Marienburg got settled. I will not Darn it. I was hoping to uh, hoping to grab that for myself. Well, there's still land over here. Though Middenheim is still owned by Middenland. And Middenland has actually done a pretty good job of helping me mop up chaos. So part of me not real keen on the idea of destroying them. Let, let's see what we have access here to. Marble. Iron. And let's see, Avernheim. Of course, this gets me bordered with the vampires, which I'm not sure I like the idea of. If I do attack Wissenland, I could take Wissenland with relative ease. It's not going to be the hardest thing ever. Do not waste my time with petty talk. Make your offer and be done. Okay, we can offer people confederations again. Welcome, my countrymen. And this, um, I don't know that there's going to be anybody. Surely an agreement will be reached. But are we not all sons of Sigma? These guys are moderate chance of joining a confederation with me. Let's see who else is out there real quick. So Averland. Averland is not going to be of any use to me because they're too small. And they don't like me. Ausland does like me, but they're also trading with me, and that trade is worth something to me. So I'm not sure that I wish to mess with that right now. I almost think that I'd be better off since Midland doesn't like... Well, I mean, they actually, they do like me. Maybe we can confederate them once we do a little work. Come then. Only Sigma's god, Ulrich, can judge it worthy or no. Let's go into a defensive alliance with them, because they're probably likely to accept that. And then maybe that'll help improve relations. And let's see. Can we set a war coordination target? Yeah, we can. Nothing on the map right now for me to coordinate with them, though. So we'll kind of hold off. It appears that, at least for the moment, Chaos has kind of been pushed back. I can't trade with Midland. Let's check the resources here. So there's pasture land across there, and then there's timber. Marienburg had dyes. That would have been nice because we could have traded that. It's unfortunate that we weren't able to get there. And then there's salt at uh, Grossel. What about the lands of Bretonia? Let's see, we've got non aggression packs with several of them, including Bretonia themselves. Bow before this the rightful good. laws of this land, and I will hear. A couple of them just act like they don't don't want the non-aggression pack. Bow before the rightful laws of this land, and I will. Yeah, and I'm not paying them for it at this point. 
they can dream on. Hail, Sigmar's son. They're not interested in trade. Whistling is not interested in trade. Just trying to see if there's anything we can do to kick up more trade. You dare approach it. Shut it, dwarf. All right, Kislev we can't trade with. Norsk uh, vampire counts. What are the chances that the vampires want to trade with me? Yeah, not good. All right, just trying to see anything I can do to, to uh, kind of jack up the economy here in a good way. And it's just not happening at the moment. Let's just get our armies ready and take care of the quest battle. And we'll kind of consider next moves. That's unfortunate. That other faction... Oh, wow. How about y'all those scaling and I'm going to go try and take the Nordland? They're free to try. I should have a pretty sizable garrison up... Well, no, I don't. <laughs> what you think would be a sizable garrison can be made more sizable there with a little bit of investment. Um, does Nordland have access to resources? It does. It has timbers. And, I mean, I'm not planning on recruiting anything up there, so I might tear down some of those buildings just to try and get some more work done in terms of expansion. I'm going to need my training field back at Isleheart, and we can go ahead and upgrade. The Empire. How much is it going to take to... To the provinces? It is war! Okay, do nothing. Let's wait. Let's go back... Well, yeah, we'll leave it how it is. We'll leave it how it is. I'm going to actually go ahead and send uh, Balthasar north and see if we can go catch up to some of those scaling stacks and defeat them. Or actually, no, I'm not. I want to I want to teleport to that battle, so I need to save some I need to save some gold. So, move. Yeah, definitely need to save some gold. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Balthasar picks up a skill point here, though. And let's see. We've got final transmutation. We've got transmutation of lead. Uh, both those are pretty darn awesome. And I'm glad we have them. We've got Gehenna's Golden Hounds. We've got a lot of great uh, spells with Balthasar. Um, this one unlocks an ability for him to increase power reserves. We've got to do power, yeah, miscast chance, and the other one. Let's let's go ahead and get these just so we can make him the, the max level spell caster, basically. Nothing wrong with that. I will hear what you have to say. Let's see what these guys want. They want military access, and I need military access if I am going to chase scaling. So I'll agree to this. It gives me a little extra money. They may want to be chase, chasing those scaling. That may be why they're asking for it. We'll see. And I can assign a military target with them. Okay, these guys finally want a non-aggression pack. That's good, because they're on my borders. And I'd like to have friendly relations with Bretonia, if at all possible. Okay, those scaling stacks still moving up there. They've got one that's kind of moving south, but it didn't seem too big. We're going to safeguard against the chaos. We don't want the money for the extra corruption. It's not worth it. Raiding in Nordland. And we've also got raiding in Talabeklen. Do we? Where's the raid? Oh, it's coming from these chaos stack over here. Uh, we need to get defenses built here, too. It'd be three turns till those are completed, though, so it's a bit of a risk. And that rating has taken away the vast portion of my income. So we're going to have to get that rating to stop in order to... Um, there's a Chaos Sorcerer here being a crotch. Yeah, we're going to have to get rid of these Chaos Forces over here. They're moving up on me, so the scaling stacks in the north are going to be of less concern to me because losing that province is less concerning than losing here. So I'm going to make a move towards Talabheim, and uh, we'll see if we can drive off these Chaos stacks over there and get my money back because right now I'm not making any. 
Yeah, there's quite a few Chaos Warriors off that direction. Looks like Ostland is under siege too, and that might be why I lost some income there too. Might be some trade income lost. All the minions of Chaos here causing some serious issues. Raid a region belonging to them? Yeah, that's no problem. I'll just send an army up there with what little, what, 647 gold that I have? No problem. I mean, seriously, why do, why do you give me a mission like that? Like, I can send an army all the way up there to raid on them with all this crap going on. I'm gonna have to go back and defend Isleheart because we can't just let these guys come back and get me. Summon the Elector Counts. Boy, man, just the minions of chaos here are absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Let's take a look at what our victory objectives are here. I'm not even sure I've looked. A long campaign victory. We have to hold Nordland, Oslin, Hochland, Midland, Talibukland we have, Ostermark, Reichland we have, Sturland, Averland, Wissenland, the Wasteland. We have to reclaim Sylvania either by direct ownership or through vassals, eastern and western Sylvania. We have to destroy the vampire counts. Ensure that any military presence belonging to the warriors of chaos exist only in the chaos waste, which basically means we have to kill off all the chaos armies. And we have to make sure that Archaeon, the ever chosen, is in a wounded state. So that's actually quite a few things we've got to get done. But it's a tall order. What? That's kind of interesting victory objectives, though. I like I like the sound of it. Our witch hunter has leveled up. We've already got assassin for him, but I'm gonna boost that up again because I want to make him into a really good assassin yes. to use against enemy agents. I think I'm trespassing on these guys right now, but it'll be okay. I'm gonna get down here to dispatch some of these chaos forces while I save a little bit of money. It's gonna take me an inordinate amount of money to re or time to rebuild Isleheart just because all this raiding has killed my income. And then they're probably attacking people I'm trading with, like I said. Scaling is raiding up in Nordland, and then the Chaos is raiding in another of my provinces. Really wish that I could get some trade from... Great. I think they just took out one of my trade partners up there, but whatever. When they moved out of my province, I got a lot of my income back. Bastone has been destroyed. Capture and occupy to the following enemies of Averland, and it gives me extra relations with Averland. Well, I'm sure it would, but I got problems of my own. I can't come fight your wars. And there's a pretty large vampire stack here in my lands that I can't say I really approve of at the moment. You summon me. I'm gonna move up. Uh, Balthasar, and we're going to engage some of these Chaos Warriors here. We have really good chances. Hellblaster cannons are insane, but we get to Vanguard deploy with the Outriders, and we should be able to dispatch them relatively relatively easy. Let's go ahead and fight this. We also have the Witch Hunter with the Qs, which should make it easier to bring down this guy here. Varetus Dawi Breaker. So I guess he thinks he's some kind of dwarf killer. He sounds, uh, sounds like a jerk. No doubt he is. Okay. Wow, this is some weird coloring. It's a very red map. <laughs> very red. We have a huge hill position here, though, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. Swordsman. Let's get our swordsmen here in the center, ready to go. Spearman. And spearmen. Out on the flanks to support. Let's just kind of get our crossbowmen ready in the center. Let's get Gelt in the center. He's still on foot. We gotta get this guy a horse, man. Someone fetch that man a horse. Let's get our Empire Knights out here on the flanks, and let's get our Outriders in a good position to just go paste the uh, the Hell Cannon at the first 
opportune moment. That's a great hiding spot for him. And then let's go ahead and just let's put our um, we've got our uh, howitzers up or mortars up pretty close. I want every unit besides these guys and the mortars. Go ahead and group these guys. Start deployment. Oh, start the battle as well. I'm going to make Chaos come all the way up the hill at me. They have some Chaos spawn. We're going to want our spears to engage them, if at all possible. So I actually think that um, I'm going to pull a couple of my spears up front. See if we can make sure that Chaos spawn does not get into my swords. My mortars have opened fire. Empire Knights here on the flanks in a good defensive position. And their Hell Cannons... I don't believe they even have line of sight, so they're moving forward. I'm not gonna pop my Outriders out yet because I'll just get run down by Chaos Hounds. Getting some hits with my mortars there. Just gonna let them fire away. So I've got spears up front to try and, oof, there comes the Hell Cannon. I just pray to goodness it doesn't hit one of my units. Those things are absolutely brutal when they do. I'm gonna swing out here. They have so much damage. I mean, they rarely hit anything, but when they do, they kill the crap out of it. They are brutal. Uh, also, the Chaos Spawn, I'm guessing these guys are not armored. They're not. Whew. So far, we've avoided any hits from the uh, Hell Cannon. Uh, I'm going to go into slow motion for a second. Um, let's get the mortars targeting um, well there's nothing else to really target at the moment other than Dawi Breaker himself they hit their own unit right there oh don't hit me don't hit me Woo! -hoo -hoo. ever so close so yeah the chaos uh, warhounds uh, going straight into my spearmen up front which is exactly what I wanted so that's actually pretty spectacular for me I'm gonna start targeting some of their marauder horsemen here let's take my missiles into guard mode real quick too Let's hit play again. Okay, got my Outriders moving up on their uh, Hell Cannons. And we'll take them out. Got their Marauder Horsemen under fire, so they're going to go down. I'm going to do the same thing over here. The Marauder Horsemen are trying to make for my uh, cavalry. Not going to let that happen, though. These two crossbows plea fire only on the Chaos Spawn. And when I say target to fire at, please continue to do so. I'm going to just cease fire with these guys for the moment. So we drove off those Marauder Horsemen. I'm going to turn my fire again here. Let's reinforce our spears against the Chaos Warriors, who are going to actually be pretty tough foes. And we're going to rear charge them with our cavalry. Let's reinforce here. The Chaos Spawn have died, the crossbows being very effective there. I'm going to line up some rear charges here with my Empire Knights. And it should be absolutely decimating. Chaos Warriors are far superior to anything I have here infantry-wise. But uh, this is going to be the death blows. I haven't even used Balthasar. Probably should. In fact, we should. Let's, uh... It's a little bit late, but let's... Plague of Rust those guys. Charge these guys out. There we go. So the Chaos Warriors will be well and truly destroyed. My Outriders have destroyed their Hell Cannons, and now we just gotta get rid of their Wizard. Let's get our, um, let's get our Empire Knights who have victoriously dispatched the Chaos Warriors here. And, uh, let's first dispatch, no, those Chaos Warhounds routed. Yeah, their Hell Cannons got wrecked by my Outriders. Outriders have Armor Piercing. Really, uh, quite deadly versus, uh, units if they're given the opportunity to get a lot of fire in. I don't know why the debug camera has this weird zoom thing going on where sometimes on the hills it takes forever to get zoomed down. I'm just gonna collapse on this guy with my Empire Knights. Let's fast forward and take him out. 
We've got to get him completely off the battlefield. So relatively few losses there. It's, it's going to be pretty successful for us. And their, their leader is going to go down. It's just going to take a, a dang long time. So I'm going to zoom, zoom back off so that we don't have to follow him around, but I can still keep an eye on it. Okay, there we are. We're zoomed off. I don't know. Like I said, it kind of gets cut there. The debug camera is a little bit screwed up. The debug camera is buggy. <laughs> He's definitely taken damage to his health from the Empire Knights. But he seems to be fairly resistant to him. Because, which is interesting. Empire Knights are anti-infantry. And this is a wizard, not a melee hero. But he must be... Yeah, he's got good armor. And obviously quite a few hit points. But he's going to die. There's no getting away from all those Empire Knights. And as soon as he is dead, we'll end the battle. Want that Chaos Lord gone. Because since he's not a legendary lord, I don't believe, he'll be gone for good. And that means that Chaos would have to start all over again with a different lord. Obviously, you can only wound legendary lords, so you don't get the privilege of destroying them. Not unless you destroy their faction. And I guess at that point, you've had the privilege of destroying them. So, Gelt easily dispatching these forces of Chaos. Their lord is about to drop to the ground... Good grief, man. There we go. In the battle. Perfect. <clears throat> Got rid of that guy. Good riddance. So, all I'm down is a couple of spearmen. And right behind him, we got this uh, this other Chaos stack who's also raiding. Yes. And we should honestly probably just go ahead and des destroy them too. Though it's going to have to happen on the next turn. Let's uh, go ahead and end this turn and see what happens. I don't like that big stack of vampires being right there in my land. That I don't know, that doesn't bode well for me. Now I got this agent after me over here now too. We're going to need to use my Witch Hunter. Of course, Chaos is going to pick up and run. That's what they do best. Oh, I forgot to use my... Ah, oh, sweet, man. One of the uh, friendly factions there got rid of their agent. Men to approach. A trade agreement? Thank you. It's about dang time one of these uh, Bretonian factions realized the uh, obvious here that we should be friends. We have the same enemies. And then I think the vampires just took out one of those chaos stacks. But again, I'm still not real happy with Tempelhof having an army right here. Scaling is going to double back to Nordland. And they are going to attack it. The question is whether or not their garrison or their defenses have been upgraded at this point. To see whether or not we have any chance. Yeah, we do have defenses now. It's only given me one great sword, several swordsmen, halberders, handgunners, empire knights. So, I mean, we've got a, a fair defense here. It's, it's not spectacular. But it's pretty good against the garbage that they have there. Plus, we get the towers, so they would have to completely siege me out at Nordland. Actually, I thought the vampires had gotten down here and done some work for me, but they did not. Worthless vampires. Alright, I'm going to get back here and part a little bit of public order to this province, which badly needs it. Um, we have a lot of work to do uh, on upgrading our settlements. I need to get... Let's see, I've got my... Got my uh, thing back here so we can train proper infantry in the right clan. We're going to need a proper defense here as well. And then we can go ahead and upgrade the settlement. So we'll just spend all our money getting Isleheart back up to snuff. Um, and that's going to be all the time I have for this episode. We'll come back next time. Uh, we've got plenty to do. You can see that there's, there's Varg up here. There's Varg right there. Uh, there's Varg everywhere at this point, though. Uh, Oslin should be able to defend themselves to a certain extent. We just need to get rid of these chaos stacks here. It looks like the vampires are running back home. So, these guys will probably try and truck it back for the Reichland. Like, uh, try and get the Wurtbad or one of the others. But Wurtbad is defended as well. So, that's good. Building those defenses are going to be key to helping us avoid just getting the constant raisings that these factions like to put out on us. And we should be able to hold out for now. Air of Carthage, signing out. I'll see you all next time.